another kind of bumpy road. Not exactly good for the suitcase. Karen, oh, I mean, they're rolling. They are rolling. It could be worse. Yeah, it's not as bad as uh, Barat. Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking Albania with my friend Karen who is behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we have just rocked up in the town of Hamara, which is on the coast. So far we've been in the mountains, in the cities, in the little villages inland, and we finally made it to the coast. And so in this vlog, I'm gonna show you what we get up to in Hamara. We have just found our hostel called Sun Baker's Hostel, which is on the I Love Balkans leaflet route. There seems to be like a bunch of recommended hostels. That is why we booked this one. You know, about a 10 minute walk from the bus station, so it wasn't too bad. Um, we just got the bus from Barat. The bus went from Barat to Vlore. We had to do a long walk in Vlore, or Vlora. And then we got another bus where we didn't get a seat uh, to Hamara. Let's give you a little tour around Sun Baker's Hostel without further ado. So this is our dorm room. We went for the cheapest one, which is 12 bed. Um, it's absolutely huge. I think we're paying about 10 euros a night for this. We both managed to bag bottom and bunks. It seems like it's not too busy, which is pretty good. <laughs> Actually, we have an entire balcony to ourselves in this hostel. Look at this. How is this for 10 euros a night? I'd say it's pretty good and it's basically Positano in Italy. <laughs> I've never seen something so familiar. It's absolutely stunning. The owner has been really, really nice to us. His name is Erion, and he's said that we should join him in 10 minutes uh, in our swimwear. Not for naughty things, <laughs> but he said he's gonna give us a free beer and we're gonna go to the beach. And that sounds very, very appealing. So we're gonna get in our swimwear now and go join him, I guess. This is the local beach. My niece Ivy is now two months old and I've been trying to think of a way to share with her my travel adventures and of course remind her that I am the coolest auntie. And someone gave me the idea to send postcards from all the countries that I visit and write little stories. She's obviously too young to read them now, but over time she can build up a collection from Auntie Christiane and Tish can read them to her. And when she is old enough to read, she can read them herself. I'm using Touchnote to create the postcards who are kindly the sponsors of today's video. Touchnote is an app that can live on your phone while traveling and enables you to really easily send postcards, greeting cards, and even gifts to your friends and family to anywhere they are in the world, all from the convenience of your fingertips. So I'm going to send a postcard to Ivy from Albania. What is so fun about this is firstly, how I can actually choose photos from my phone so that I'll actually be in the photos on the postcard. But also you can make a mosaic of photos. So my idea is that I will always include a photo of Ivy at the time so that when she looks back at these postcards over the years, she can see how she's grown and changed and what she was at at the time that I was in these countries. You can add stickers and text to the photo page. So I'm going to write Albania at the top. And then on the other side, I can write my short letter to Ivy. I can choose the font and the color. With some destinations, you can even customize the way the stamp looks, which is fun. And at the bottom, I can also customize the location, which is a great way to document the exact location and date that the postcard was written. As someone who is almost always on the road, it's super convenient that I can always send and birthday, occasion, and anniversary cards to my loved ones and friends so that they know that they are still in my thoughts even when I am thousands of miles across the globe. It's completely free to download the app and then you can purchase either a membership plan or just simply purchase credits where you can save money on your purchases. And once you've done that, the postage will always be free with the postcards on Touchnote. And if you sign up today, you will receive up to 40% off on the three or or six packs of postcards, just use the link in the description. And it really doesn't get any easier than that. I will have a link to the app to download down in the description so you can play around with it yourself because why text it when you can touch note it? I can't wait to see Ivy's reaction when she receives her postcard and I'm really excited about this new tradition. If this doesn't give me gold standard auntie credits, I do not know what will. Good morning, Karen. Morning. How are you feeling? Really good actually. Yeah, you slept well? Mm -hmm. Good. 
they have free breakfast in the hostel, which we're just going down to now. Uh, it's from 9am to 11am. We've both gone for the omelette. Very nice. So the thing about Hamare is that, well, Hamara, sorry, I feel like I'm saying it wrong by saying Hamare. I've heard people say it's Hamara. I'm still not quite sure what it is. Go ahead double check it. I think it's Hamara. Okay. Is that there's just lots and lots of beaches kind of scattered about. They're not exactly a walk away from each other. You can rent a car or you can rent a scooter. And as we've been told, there is one place in town to rent a scooter. And we were given the WhatsApp number for him by our hostel host. And we're really glad that we messaged him on WhatsApp because they only had one scooter left. Well, they had one 125cc for 20 euros for 24 hours. And we were like, oh, we'll take that. And he goes, oh, no, sorry, that one's gone. One more left. It's 200cc and it's 25 euros per day for 24 hours. And so, well, I guess we're going with that one. That's what we're doing. I'm not sure if I've ridden a 200cc before. I've ridden many, many scooters before, but I'm pretty sure they've all been 125cc. I'm not sure. It might be in Thailand that you sometimes get like a like a strong one. Like yeah, like I'm hoping it's just going to kind of be the same, just a little bit more powerful, and so that'll be fine. <laughs> we hope. On the back. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be on the back. <laughs> we're walking to the scooter place now, about a 10 minute walk away. Okay. Here's the place, it's literally just on the side of the road. It's like rent a scooter or a quad bike. So I guess we just wait for the guy here. I guess so. So couldn't get a 200cc because you need a motorcycle license, which I don't have. So we have a quad bike. You can Ah, okay. Yeah. Look at the colour of this water! Oh, look how clear it is! Wow. We're with Anna and Dylan on the beach. Hello. Hello. And we have wine, obviously. was very very nice so they didn't have half the things on the menu so we just had to work with what they had and Karen has looked up a little walk that's close by to Halle Beach which takes us to Aquarius Aquarium Bay uh, Aquarium Bay which is actually one of the places that the scooter rental people recommended to us so it's an 18 minute walk there which will be a good way to walk off our food and it's a little bit cloudy actually it's threatening to rain it's not rained yet, but it is threatening. <laughs> See, I like this car. I like your car. Thank you. I really want a small SUV, and I feel like that's a really nice one. <laughs> Suzuki Jimny. Really nice. You want a card? Yeah, let's take a card. Why not? <laughs> That's the picture on it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Jimny's Journeys. Follow along, everyone. It's raining. Oh, a little bit. It is raining a little bit. But thank you for taking us to the beach, Karen. Where are we? Aquarium Bay. Aquarium Bay. That was only a short walk. It was. It, it wasn't quite 18 minutes. It's lovely. It would be nice if the sun was out. Yeah, it would be lovely if the sun was out. I am going to go for a snorkel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's rocks. There might be fish. He's even fishing, which makes me think that there's fish. I'm gonna go for a snorkel.
just very chaotic juggling. I think I need something that's like not quite so heavy as a rock because rocks fall very fast. But I think if you had something a little bit lighter, yeah. just... Look at this. Now the sun's out, we can see how beautifully blue and clear the water really is. It was beautifully blue and clear when we were swimming in it, but now the sun's out, you can really see how much it sparkles. and we're actually checking out of the hostel today and we're going to be leaving Hamara but we've got the quad bike for two more hours we drop it off at 10 a.m there's one last beach that we want to try and get to just to make the most of having it we are about to wake up the entire hostel though by turning on this quad bike it's just so funny that this is just like our vehicle <laughs> The name of this beach is Lamani Beach. Lamani Beach. No one's currently here. We're definitely gonna have a little coffee this morning and I definitely want a bit of a dip. How did you sleep last night, Karen? No, actually really good. Like it's so quiet in our room. It really is. Like some more people joined the room last night, two more girls, but I literally didn't hear anyone. No, it, I feel like it's such a big room that like, I don't know, a lot can go on and you may not notice. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is really good actually. Like, I yeah. really enjoy it. Yeah. Can I please have an Americano with milk? And can I have a latte? Mm. Oh, oh, do yes. you want a nice yeah. latte? Yeah, I'll have that. Oh, yeah. actually, I changed my mind. Oh. Oh. Do you want an iced one? Can I have an iced latte? Ice? Both. Yeah, so. yeah, so like the espresso and, um, milk and ice. cold milk and ice. Yeah. And um, do you have. No. <laughs> they might. Do you have caramel syrup? Like sugar sweet for the coffee? Can I have a look? Okay. Sugar syrup? So mo it says Monin? That one? Yeah. It's like sugar syrup. Can I have that in the iced latte? I don't know what I ordered, but I think they're putting Baileys in my coffee. <laughs> This is hard, Karen. This I mean, is really that's hard. A true risk coming out of oh. you right there. <laughs> all I wanted was an iced caramel latte. You're making it too complicated. Oh, I know, but they were showing me all the syrups that they like put in um, the alcohol, like the cocktails. Right, in the cocktails. <laughs> what did they have? He got me to smell the bubble gum one, <laughs> and and he was like, because oh. I said I wanted it sweet, and then he was like, this is sweet, and I was like, don't put that in my coffee. So that's I mean, why I settled on Bailey's. You asked, you asked. Because I know that Bailey's is going to be sweet, and Bailey's coffee is actually really nice. I mean, it is really nice, but it's also a quarter past eight. <laughs> I mean, when on holiday, right? We'll see what comes. Then we're going to go for a swim. Okay, here it is. Here is my with Bailey's, and here is Karen's without. Right, what's the bet? What is it going to cost? Oh, how yeah. much it's going to cost? I think this is a really nice place. Yeah. I'm going to go with, with Bailey's, 800. Ooh, and I think yours is going to be three or 400. Three or 400. Mine will be like five or 600. Yeah. So it's just a guess. I feel like if we go in high, then when the bill actually comes, hopefully we won't be quite so sad. That's good. Oh yeah, nice. Um, yeah, and it is sweet and it just has like a bit of a kick, which mm. is the Baileys. Oh, that is nice, yeah. Oh, that is good. I mean, they weren't shy with the Baileys. No, they weren't shy with the Baileys. No problem. So there we go, maybe Backpacking Bananas new coffee order is not an iced caramel latte, but an iced Baileys latte. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> State of this water though. Oh my goodness. That is so nice. We're gonna go Christmas. So nice. 
guys. Yeah, I think this is my favorite as well. Yeah, I prefer this one to the other one. Yeah, it's only 9 a.m. so on a Monday morning. On a Monday morning, so people are not up yet. But I think the water's nice, there's less waves, it is actually clearer. But if you did want to take one of these beach beds, I think it's 1,500 lek per person for the day, which is like around 11 pounds or something, which if you were going to be here for the whole day, I'd say it's 100% worth it. Unfortunately, um, because we've got to return our quad bike and get onto the next town, we're only here for an hour, so it's not worth it for us to do that. This has definitely been our, our favourite beach in this area. We really set our expectations high for the bill just because we didn't know how much it was going to cost and so we thought better expect it to be high and we were pleasantly surprised it was 650 lek for both of our coffees including mine which had Baileys in yeah which I just was expecting it to be higher at a nice beach club like that but yeah so that cost, we're in Albania boy so that was five euros and 42 cents or four pounds 66 oh great for two of those iced coffees and there was including alcohol and, so. and there was a fair amount of Baileys there as well. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. All right, and now with wet hair, we're going to drive back to drop the quad bike off, and then we're going to walk to the hostel, grab our bits, and then head to the bus station. Yeah. Okay, we've just walked to exactly where we got dropped off in the centre of Hamara, the bus station. It's not really a bus station, it's just kind of the side of the road where the buses tend to stop. Glad to be living, to be honest. The water looks absolutely glorious this morning, but alas, like I've said in every video, we don't have much time in Albania, so we're just spending two nights in each place. We've got to move on to our next stop, which is going to be Gyrocaster. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys, and Karen, we'll <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye bye!